All right, we want to start in Chapter 1, Section 1. The first thing we want to look at is the slope of a line. Now you'll remember that the slope of a non-vertical line represents the number of units that the line rises or falls vertically for each unit of horizontal change from left to right. We have the definition there. We have two points, x1, y1, x2, y2. Now if you look over here at this next slide, we have that that's the most commonly known formula for the slope, but remember, as long as you keep things in the proper order, you can do y1 minus y2 over x1 minus x2. Let's look at a few examples here. For example, if we want to find the slope from 1, 2 to 4, 3, we would subtract the y's, subtract the x's, and we have a slope of 1 third. Let's look at another slope. How about 4 minus 7 and minus 6 minus 15? Again, we subtract the y's, subtract the x's. Be very, very careful of your signs. We get minus 15 plus 7 over minus 10, which gives us minus 8 over minus 10, or 4 fifths. Now, as I've said, be real careful with signs. Let's look at how we would do this on our calculators. Now, all of you have a calculator that works exactly like this. Please notice the sets of parentheses that I'm having to put in there so that this thing subtracts properly. Notice we have pretty print. All right, be careful with the signs. Let's look at another example. Ah, this is going to be an interesting one. Notice, both y values are the same. 3 minus 3 over 4 minus 10, and that is 0. When the slope is 0, we have a horizontal line. And don't forget that the slope can be 0. Now we're waiting to look here at another example. In this case, notice, the x values of the points are the same. So we have 10 minus 4 over 3 minus 3, 6 over 0. Undefined, undefined, we can't divide by 0. We have a vertical line. Please never say that there's no slope. It's an undefined. So throughout this text, the term line will refer to a straight line. Division by 0 is undefined, so we've looked at four different kinds of slopes. 1, where m is greater than 0, line with a negative slope, horizontal line, and a vertical line. Let's take a few minutes here, and let's use a computer algebra system called Maple. And on it, we're going to have it plot lines with the four different types of slope we've looked at. Notice what's coming up there. We have y equals 2x plus 1. Mm, that's going to be a positive slope y equals 3 minus 1 third x, that's going to be a negative slope. y equals 4, that's a horizontal line. x equals minus 5, that's a vertical line. Now, we have to let Maple get all, get all everything typed in, and then you're going to have to wait a few seconds while we adjust the picture so that you can see everything. Notice, we can plot each one of these with a different color. That really helps. All right, there we go. There's our lines. Now here's where I'm adjusting it so that we can see everything. And then we're going to have some things point to the various lines. Don't forget, you need to know the formula for the slope of a line.